We can make sense of the powers of three by starting with one triangle, taking three copies to form this triangle with three small triangles, taking three copies of that to represent three squared, and so on, each time taking three copies of the previous diagram to produce the next power of three. If we do that, here's a representation for three to the n plus one. But now let's see something interesting. We can take two copies of three to the n and stack them next to each other. On top of that, take two copies of three to the n minus one, like this, and keep going until we have two copies of three squared. On top of that, we place two copies of three, and finally we place two copies of one. If we then stack one last copy of one on top, it turns out that we've produced the exact same diagram as the diagram for three to the n plus one. So we get equality between these two formulas. From this equality, we see that the sum where i ranges from zero to n of three to the i must be three to the n plus one minus one over two. This is a formula for the geometric sum of the powers of three.